So Governor Mike DeWine of Ohio recently announced that starting on May the 26th, they will begin handing out money to people, to adults rather, that get vaccinated. On May 26th, we will announce a winner of a separate drawing for adults, adults who have received at least their first dose of the vaccine. This announcement will occur each Wednesday for five weeks, and the winner each Wednesday will receive $1 million. So I thought that this was pretty astounding, which is why I decided to talk about it. This has been a big question uh, with the politicians and the people that are uh, advocating for more people to get vaccinated, and they're trying to ease the curiosity and the apprehensiveness of those that haven't been vaccinated yet. And this is a very interesting approach. Um, my first thoughts on it is that it was hilarious, but I also think it's genius, you know, because there's this, as I said, this is, you know, this big thought of, okay, how can we get more people vaccinated? Uh, let's just push the vaccine. Let's uh, really talk about the efficacy rates and all that. I, I, know, I know I did a video on uh, Jimmy Kimmel basically getting a bunch of medical personnel to shame people into going to get vaccinated. All that is, well, the, talking about the efficacy rate to the vaccine is good, but the shaming and all other stuff is, is it's ridiculous. It's not going to work. But this guy goes, oh, okay, well, let's give them money. You know, it, it's, it's now only five people are going to get this. It's $5 million, so $1 million each. But when you really think about it, it's okay. What's one thing that a lot of people like, that pretty much everyone likes, everyone enjoys receiving? Money. What's one thing that a lot of people in America lack at the moment and have been lacking for quite some time now? Money. Well, how about we give it to them? And not only just give it to them, but give it to them as an incentive to go get vaccinated, which is something that needs to occur if we want to go back to normalcy in this country. Now, I saw some pretty, uh, dare I say, idiotic takes on Twitter. I saw one idiot saying that this was socialism. Once again, using words that they don't know the meaning of. Actually, the socialistic approach, and a lot of people were talking about this, would actually be to divide the money up in smaller increments and give it to even more people. So like instead of, because it's $5 million, right? Let's go on the premise that we had $5 million. So instead of, giving, instead of giving out one million to five people, let's say we give out a hundred dollars to fifty thousand, because that's a uh, hundred divided or five million divided by a hundred gives you fifty thousand. So fifty thousand people receives a hundred dollars, you know, for uh, getting vaccinated. But then again, that also poses the question: Is that a big enough of an incentive? Because how many people can just go? Ah, I don't need a hundred dollars. I don't want to get vaccinated. But the chance that they can be a millionaire is actually even more enticing than just saying, hey, if you get vaccinated, I'll give you a hundred bucks. So maybe that, you know, a uh, hundred dollar amount should be increased to maybe three hundred dollars or four hundred to five hundred or a thousand. I, I have no idea. You know, I'm just throwing stuff out there. But I don't know. Overall, I kind of like it, actually. And I honestly do believe that more states should probably adopt this methodology of trying to get people to get vaccinated because at the end of the day, no matter what you think about it, it is enticing. You know, I mean, all you got to do is get a shot to prevent you from getting COVID. And we know what COVID can do to people. It's done the same thing to hundreds of thousands of people. And that thing is in their lives. So you're getting a shot to protect you. And the upside is not only are you protected from COVID, but you could also possibly win a million dollars. So I don't know, maybe other states might want to follow the direction of this governor here. But in other news, of course, there's always an idiot in the story. Bill de Blasio is basically doing the same thing, but he's advertising Shake Shack. Free fries when you get vaccinated? Um, I got vaccinated. You're saying I could get this? You delicious fries? Wait a minute. But there's also a, a burger element to this. Let me let me check with Bill Needhart. Is it too early in the day to eat a burger? No. Good to go. This could be breakfast. Good to go. Okay. I want you to look at this and think about again, 
Some people love hamburgers, some don't. Really want to respect all ways of life. But if this is appealing to you, just think of this when you think of vaccination. Mmm. Vaccination. Mmm. <laughs> I'm getting a very good feeling about vaccination right this moment. Bill de Blasio is a dumbass. I don't even need to elaborate any further on this. That video aggravated me greatly because I hate the sound of people eating. It was very annoying, but overall, I thought this was very interesting. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this is a good idea by this Ohio governor to incentivize people to go get the vaccine? If so, do you agree with the $1 million amount spread across five weeks for five people? Or do you believe in a smaller amount that would be awarded to more people? And do you think that overall, um, federally, maybe, you know, uh, the federal government should step in and just reward people for getting vaccinated, period, and give them uh, however much amount of money. Now, although the people that have already been vaccinated and haven't received anything, they'll probably feel some type of way, but that's neither here nor there. What do you think about it? I thought this was pretty interesting overall. Peace.